सो हाई एवरी वन थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी हियर इट्स ट्रूली एन ऑनर फर्स्टली कंग्रेचुलेशन टू द ऑर्गेनाइजर्स फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सच अ वंडरफुल इवेंट एंड प्लानिंग द फ्यूचर ऑफ इन टेक इन अ वेरी वेरी गुड वे एंड थैंक यू टू ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर कमिंग अ क्विक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑन माई एंड माई नेम इज अग्नीश बैनर्जी आई एम द चीफ बिजनेस ऑफिसर ऑफ डेटा सूत्रम As for the company, we are an alternate data company who have been working with various NBFCs, banks, and fintech companies, with helping them while helping them rather with our data for customer acquisition, for underwriting, for opening up of new ATMs, etc. I'll come to all use cases as I go through the slides. Now, here's a brief background of the company in terms of the core team. I would be naive to say that it's just the five of us who run it. There are so many other people who are there. We have a booth. You can go check us out. And here is a list of our investment rounds till now. As for our clients, that's that is our humble list of clients whom I hope that you know we have helped in in a good way for the future. Now, let's take a pause here. Here's what some of you might be wondering. that uh, who is this 20 odd year old boy who is you know maybe out of college 3 4 years uh, you know and he's talking at a fintech event a banking and fintech event how is that uh, straight off the bat i would like to clear something out that i am no more an expert in fintech or banking than any of you in fact if in terms of banking and fintech some of you here Uh, you know got down to the nitty gritties of them you would probably run circles around me but what i do consider myself very humbly an expert at are two things one is data and second is empathy understanding my client and understanding the people i work for so why i mention those two what we do here at data sutram is that we very empathetically understand real life problems of stakeholders and of companies throughout india and abroad and we provide them with solutions not based off of just intuition or guessing something we give you real data intelligence against it so that it boosts your profitability faster so that it makes you grow much faster and makes you more money saves you time because time is money at the end of the day right as as for the data that i keep talking about we have partnered up with over 250 plus sources pan india and abroad again if i take some numbers in place we have around we calculate and curate around 157 million smartphone data each and every day of individuals we have data on 6 crore merchants pan india their footfall what kind of people they cater to etc uh we have transactional level information for every lat long we have risk scores for every lat long so we take in all of this data and we create parameters of what i personally feel that can answer any and every business question that you might have that is data on people and data on places if somehow through some magic wand you knew about the trends and the micro trends what's going to happen at each and every place and if somehow you knew that how people behave in that place that is half of your answer right there who your ideal customers are where to open up your new atm where to set up your new branch etc now what i did was I took the people and place level data last night it was I was up, up till 4 a.m so apologies if the alignment is a little off uh, I took this place right here now imagine that you're a bank or you're a fintech company right and you want to target all the shops and all the merchants around this location right here a 1k mark and you want to you know underwrite loans to them for example Here is what traditionally a lot of us do here in this case. We have huge field teams. The field team head, we you know ask him or her, these are the locations that I look forward to. 
the field team head then asks his entire team to scout the entire area and provide ideal shops and ideal locations to go and acquire these customers, right? But the problem with that is that, and we all know here in this room, that personal bias comes in here in this place, visibility cannot be 100%, and in one way that we are at the mercy of someone else's intuition in place, and someone else's action. What you would do right here, what I'm showing, and this is a live screenshot from the platform that we have, you would simply search for any location you want to, and you know exactly not just the merchant or the type of merchant here in this case, but also what kind of footfall that merchant has, what kind of affluence class of people that merchant caters to, who are the ideal customers of these merchants. So you know more about the merchant and what's gonna happen around the merchant more than the merchant himself or herself here in this case. Now, as for, let's say people level data. What you can do here and how we understand this is that we understand the smartphone level information throughout this room. So in one click, I know exactly how many people are in this room, not just that, what kind of trends you follow, exactly where you go to, what you shop to. Again, I don't know your names or phone numbers. We don't deal in personal level information. But I do know that exactly out of this room, let's say who are the customers for a certain bank or a certain fintech company here in this case. Just like that, taking in transactional level information, what kind of cars drive where, etc. I know exactly what kind of affluence class of people live where. What is the rough income of a person in each and every grid here in this case, as we call it internally. And as for the smartphone level information, here's again a snapshot of what I wanted to show you. Here you can see, I, and I don't know if the screen is clear or not, but what kind of brands this particular individual is going to, and again, what is the geo behavior in and around this individual? What is the, you know, his or her age? In this case, uh, he, uh, what kind of phone this person uses, etc. So I took the liberty, the humble liberty to actually take screenshots out of the platform and show you that how you can yourself, you know, actually drive these solutions in place. Now, as for solutions in the BFSI sector, we help this entire sector and players in this sector with customer acquisition, with uh, credit risk underwriting, with ATM and brand selection, increasing your loan book size, and in one word, treat us as a personalized Google for your business. We have this huge pool of data on people, on transactions, on delinquency rates, et cetera, et cetera. So I can identify who the ideal customers are for you and who exactly your field teams should go to to acquire them much, much faster and to deploy much, much safer loans, much, much large ticket size loans here in this case. Now let's go a little bit deeper into these three use cases here in this case. Let's say first, customer acquisition, right? As I mentioned again, we have our field team agent, the field team agent deploys his entire team to a certain place, the entire team comes back to you, tells you that these are the ideal pockets of land, you know, these are the ideal SMEs to target, etc. Either that's one, or second, you can just take in data that is in the open source, that you know, but the problem with that, that you face again, is first, as you can see here, uncertainty or lack of knowledge on exactly what is going on. Because you don't, you sitting in your office, how could we possibly know exactly what SME shop is doing, what kind of transaction and what kind of footfall that shop is having, right? So that is exactly the kind of problem that I'm helping you save. You just open your laptop screen, you search for any location, and you know exactly what are the SMEs in that location, who are the customers in that location, who get ideal footfall, who do good business, and you know exactly who to target. Next. And as for the second problem, you go on the net, you search for a few SMEs, you get a list. But the problem with that is, again, it's open source. If someone tells, or if someone says that any SME is closed, when it's actually not, you will think it's closed because you cannot possibly go to a certain place and check it out, right? These are again the headers and the ways that we improve upon your existing customer acquisition model. 
the points I covered, all of them. As for customer profiling for fraud investigation, for underwriting of new loans, etc. Now, currently, we have our in-house analytical teams, beautiful systems built out, beautiful teams to actually analyze what exactly is going on with the fraud. But the problem that happens is that we rely on either just one big source or a couple of big sources. Maybe the updation cycle is not uh, up to par. What happens to customers who are new to credit here in this case, right? So what you do and how we help you is that through the various parameters that we have internally, we assess Again, what kind of transactions are happening around that place? Exactly what are the micro trends that are changing in terms of delinquencies in that place? What is the UPI quarterly growth in that place, etc. So what you're doing essentially here is that you no longer have to rely on just one or two sources. I'm, I'm not saying, again, just to claim everything, I'm not saying that any source to underwrite a loan is bad or it's just, you know, that's one. that's not the case. What I will help you here, I'm not trying to replace anyone. I'm just trying to enrich upon your existing internal data so that the accuracy and so that the coverage that you're facing increases that much more. Now, in terms of growth and strategy, you want to open up a thousand ATMs or a thousand branches in one year. It takes you at least, at least from my experience, what I've seen, it takes you at least three to four months to track the ideal spots. You go to that spot and you finally figure out my competitor is there, he's doing well. So why not just open up a shop there? What happens is COVID hits or some other pandemic hits. Everything stops. There is no field team. There is no footfall. At least there is no counted, accounted for footfall. Mumbai was absolutely shut during COVID, the first uh, few months, right? So how do you predict something like this? How do you know, sitting from your home, opening your laptop, on where ideally to find my ideal clusters to open up a branch? This is again the problems that you face, biased intel, opportunity loss, you know, the huge, huge time it takes to actually scout a certain area. But in my system, what you do is that you just search for the location, type in any data header you want, and you, you know exactly what is the business potential of that location. In this case, it takes one minute to search for any city, any location, any pin code. Heck, you can even search for any lat long and you can search what radius across that you want to search it for, right? Now, I won't take much of your time after this. Thank you for hearing me out. I would just like to say one thing, that everyone here in this room right now, you guys have played a pivotal role to shape and to, you know, drive the fintech revolution for the last five years. Let's work together. Let's actually utilize alternate data here in this place and here, I would like to quote Mr. Steve Jobs, let's actually make a dent in the universe and shape the future. Thank you so much for your time. It's really an honor.